to the 901. I'm Clayton Collier. Saturday's home opener against Arkansas State is the start of a four game homestand for the Tigers while they're getting used to home cooking. Here's what you need to know for game day to help avoid delays. First, the big change. Simmons Bank Liberty Stadium is all digital this year. Tickets and parking passes. Make sure you have both downloaded to your phone before arriving Saturday. A reminder, the Tigers still have a clear bag policy in effect, but new this year metal detectors will also be used as you enter the stadium. For the second time this month, an all-time tennis great is calling it a career. Roger Federer announced that next week's Labor Cup in London will be his final ATP event, citing injuries as his reason. Federer joins Serena Williams, who played in her final U.S. Open earlier this month. Well, some of the NBA's biggest stars weighed in on the league's punishment for Suns owner Robert Sarver, who was suspended for just one year and fined $10 million over racist and sexist conduct in the workplace. LeBron James said the league definitely got this wrong. He went on to say there is no place for misogyny, sexism, and racism in any workplace. Doesn't matter if you own the team or play for the team. And Suns star Chris Paul said he is horrified and disappointed by what he read in the report and that the sanctions fell short in truly addressing what we can all agree was atrocious behavior. And finally, on a bright note, a very happy 23rd birthday to Jaron Jackson Jr. Hope to see you back on the court for your Jordan year real soon. Hey, have a topic? Let me know on Twitter. With your 901, I'm Clayton Collier.